Well, hey there team and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Necromunda Hired Gun. We're coming back to have a bit of a look at this uh, because of the Warhammer Skulls event that's going on Steam at the moment, which is to say pretty much all things Warhammer, 40k Fantasy, Sigma, all of that is on deep sale. And so this is no exception. Um, I like this when it came out. It is definitely, uh, I mean, what you would probably call a double A shooter. Uh, or I suppose you can consider it like a B-grade shooter as well, much like B-grade action movies and that, right? It doesn't have AAA budget, um, it's got heart, it's got a really interesting setting in the sort of Necromander space, but, you know, it's got a bit of jank as well. So I'm not going to blow smoke up your ass and tell you that, um, you know, this is the bee's knees next breakthrough game. It, but it's serviceable and it's fun and it's, it's, it's a good fun romp. Um, so the only real point of contention would be your price point. For something like that, um, maybe full price is a bit uh, extreme, but I think it's on half price at the moment. So it might be the perfect time to check out. But definitely one of those ones that I would say, yeah, as long as you know it's a double A going in, put it on your wish list, buy it when the price is right for you. Um, and now might be the time. Anyway, so let's have a look at it. Let's um, get into it and um, and see if it's still fun. <laughs> so sit in Necromunda, which I find to be one of the coolest settings in Warhammer. Uh, which is like basically a hive world. The guilders run the underhive. Mm. Without the merchant's guild, there's no order to life down here. Right. No one to stop things unraveling completely. Okay. You're thinking there's no order down here anyway. But you just don't see it. Order is what every ganger down here is looking for. Just an order they can change. Right. One where they can get to be top dog. The big boss man. Not just a pro laboring away, toiling for house high and throne. Order down here is different. Nobody wants the enforcers, or worse, coming down here, trying to make things the way they are up in Hive City. Hmm. So we all follow the Gilders' rules. Without them, it all breaks down. Okay. No one kills a Gilder unless they're truly dangerous or truly desperate. And the truly desperate are the most dangerous of all. That's why I think we can help each other out. Yeah, right. We're going to earn ourselves... That's right, I've got a puppy. ...for taking down whoever killed Maro Virax. And we're going to put things back the way they should be. You see, we're agents of order, the likes of us. Right. Even if we do get to... So a little strife along the way. You're in? Trust me. It'll be worth it. Right. Cool, cool, cool. Member of the Merchant's Guild has been mur murdered. There's a huge bounty on the outlaw responsible. You and two fellowed hired guns are in pursuit of the outlaw. Uh, and believe you know where to find him. Attack in concert to capture the outlaw and claim the bounty. Right. Right. Are we ready to go? Oh, I'm clicking tips. Cool. So, Gilders, no, no, because they're clans, aren't they? So the Merchant's Guild might be something different again. Because funnily enough, I didn't play much Necromunda on the tabletop. I played Mordheim, which is the Warhammer Fantasy uh, equivalent uh, of sort of like small tactical um, warband management. Oh, okay, here we go. Please confirm your identity. Oh, the old half price haircut. Very cool. Um, oh, look at this bloke. Yeah, right. Oh, look, it's Raiden from fucking Thingo. God, they're all very edgy, aren't they? Look at that dude. I bet he only picks Reaper when he plays Overwatch. So easy. You see, look at this. If you didn't, if you didn't fucking shave the sides off your head, you wouldn't be so cold. You wouldn't need a scarf for your mouth. Wow, they've all got the same hair. Look at them. They've all got the same haircut. It's so fascinating. This modern haircut. You're trying to be edgy and cool and different, and you don't realise the other twenty people in line at the barber are having the exact same cut done. And it's like, um, how about we just go, bloody, what's what's the dumbest, edgiest one that we can get? Oh, it's all pretty bad, isn't it? Whatever. Let's just go this fucking boring looking dude. I can do boring. Normal. 
Confirm your grade. Normal. I'm normal. But apparently I'm not, because I'm the only person without one of those haircuts. Alright. My, my Mastiff's name is Mastiff. Original. I've always thought about that. If I got another dog, I'd probably just name it Dog. This is it. Yeah. Getting a little bit of hitching. You sure? Positive. The black serpents are holed up in there. Right. You sure about this? Sure they're in there or sure about getting out? So it's not the sexiest game I've ever played. Was that dude just really short? Or that dude's really tall? Okay. Because I've got this running on Epic on a 30 series. Um. Wow, look at that gun. Is that a bolt a bolter? Or a lad? I think that's a bolter. Yeah, I did turn, like, the brightness down, but it seems a bit blown out. Anyway, it's alright, we'll continue. Like I said, know what you're getting into. I think... You two, this level, I'm heading down. I think, at first blush, you might go... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's the this graphics are a bit rough, Let's go. but then two minutes in, like the world building and the sort of artistic direction is pretty awesome. And I think you I give it two minutes, century. you'll probably forget that the graphics aren't the super ground. duper once you're immersed, you know? As many as you can. Let them know oh shit. Oh, what the fuck was that? It's with that dude's head. Okay, I guess it's normal. All right, so we're going to, oh, look at this. Jesus, this pistol's big as me head. Right. Let the hunt begin. Yes, that's a good idea. What's this? What is this? Restart mission, back to HQ, buy stims. Well, there you go. That's the best shopping list I've ever seen. Look, another dude's head. All right. Tab, info. What's this? Treasure chest, zero out of five. Okay, so we've got collectibles if you like that. You'll see dome runner beacons during your mission. All right. They indicate the most used paths. So follow them to find your way through your underhive. Oh, okay. Sure. So this is Asher territory. Oh, look at this. Not a good time to lose one's head. It's pretty fast. Pretty punchy. Oh, look, an ogren. Press left control while moving to the side or backwards. Oh, it's a dash button. Okay. Oh, and it's a slide as well. So we've got a bit of a mirror's edge thing going on. Cool. Chuck that in a comment as well. I mentioned it the other day because we were covering dead space. I love mirror's edge. Look at this bike just hanging out. Hold space bar on a wall. Wall running. Yes, that's cool. That's cool. Oops. What else? And this also reminds me of, uh, well, Titanfall, which we've been, we've already looked at recently. But, um, Ghost Runner. Is that the name of it? Ghost Runner. Chuck that in a comment for me as well, and I'll look at that Open on the channel. Damn door. Open the door. That's interesting negotiation technique. Not the best gig. Either people ask politely or they probably just punch him because he can't go anywhere until he opens the door. But um, we saw something like that in Inquisitor Marta, right? We got like weird fucking heads in doors that you got to talk to. Must be a Warhammer thing. I'm in. Let's do it. Let's the prize. do it. Oh shit. I'm, I'm, I'm sliding and, squ and squizzing around. There we go. Up we go. Press E to open chests. Your exploration stat defines your ability to survive and will influence the quality of the loot. Aha! Hold E to equip a weapon. Open the weapon wheel with Z. I got a striker. The fuck is a striker? Iron fist? 
Looks cool. It looks Warhammery, but I don't know what it is. It's not a stubber. Stubbers are a little bit more gross. Okay, okay. We just gotta get used to the sensitivity. I'm past the first sentries coming in from the north. You see anything yet? Plenty. Keep going. Choose the weapon that you want to use. So do I permanently have this machine gun? I don't know. It looks cool. You want me to go up there, do you? Aha! Yeah, the mobility's pretty cool. Take down with E. Oh, she's Esha. See, oh, Jesus. See you, lady. What's going on here? That's, oh, smoke. I thought it was blue. Cool. How cool is this? We might have to have a look at the other Necromunda game that came out that was kind of not great. The AI was so terrible in a game that really needs not terrible AI. But, the, but that was the more squad-based one. But the environments and the art and all that, it's just begging for a C to call your Cyber Master. It's just begging for good games. Target an enemy. Kill her. Get that chick now. Lento, was that you? Where are you? Third level. There's Beetle. someone else down here, and it ain't no Esha. That's not What's me. What's that? Money? Stay alert. Oh, there's enemies down here. No good. Oh, look at this. You can hear it. You can hear it buzzing. That's how you open a chest. Yes. What is this? Equip and hold. So... Oh, look, it's a different striker. It's got a scope on it. Oh, shit! Wait, did that replace my Iron Fist? Oh, hang on, what's going on here? Where'd it go? I want that, please. Whatever that is. I think there must be shields or some bullshit. Where, where'd the other pistol go? I made it disappear by accident by pressing E. Huh. Do I, like, do I have like an inventory or something? I don't know. I, I want the one with the scope. Whatever. We'll, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at this. You reckon that hurts? Get him, puppy. All right, she's in a canned animation while my dog's eating her. Got it. All right, so they don't really drop anything that I can loot. Go get him, puppy. Target can't be reached. Fair enough. Oh! Med kit. Open your action wheel. Med kit. Roger. Short time after getting hit, you can replenish your health by dealing damage to enemies. This timing is symbolized by a visual effect on your wrist. Oh, cool. Bloody wristy health. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. What's this do? Oh, okay, they're like little shop terminals. Ah! Why is my dog not responding? I think my dog's dead or something. Okay. Where are you? I can't see you. There you are. Okay. My dog's on like a cooldown. Oh!
So is my dog showing their outlines? Or do I just always see their outlines? Not clear. Alright, so my dog just does its own thing until it finally gets dumpstered. How do I melee? Oh, what's F? On my screen. Yeah, see, I can't see your outline. So I feel like the dog... Highlight some like tags them for you. I'm getting close. That was fun. That was cool. Sorry. I don't like this. <laughs> All right. It's it's very fast. And uh, and in your face as well. Like I'm sort of trying to use this scope, but it's not really working. And I've I've gone through like all my med kits as well. This is good. Stims. Keep you from dying and use automatically when you run out of HPs. They can be bought in the equipment menu at the beginning of each mission. Okay. Do I see them in here? No. F. Put in quick action shortcut. Aha. Uh -huh, that's why it says F for the med kit. That's good. That's what I want. Oh, there's a lot of cool stuff happening here. Go get her. <laughs> the dog just topped itself. I think they're all fighting each other. Yeah, right. Alright, my dog's on cooldown. Jesus. Oh, God. If I have a melee, I don't know what it is. Is it like V, maybe? Oh, shit. It's not F, because that's my med kit. This... I'm enjoying this a lot. You know, it reminds me of the days of, like, your... Your bullet storms and your spec ops the lines. You know, these shooters that are great, but... They're not necessarily the strongest entry. Don't get me wrong, I like... I, I really... Oh my god, are you kidding? I really enjoyed the story in Spec Ops, but... Uh, a good shooter, it really was not. It was okay. Alright, control is my slide. I need to remember that. I, good boy. Can I pat you? Nope. I don't know how to pat you. Oh shit. Oh, this bike's legless. Need to laugh the turps. Fatal. Where are you? Oh. Leto. What the hell's going on? I heard. I'm on my way. Oh, hang on, someone's shooting me. The shooting's good, I like it. Feels good. So I'm, I'm taking a lot of damage.
Doing well, buddy. Alright, so he has a green cooldown by the look of it. And I think when that runs out, he'll despawn. Let's just observe. Yeah, there you go. Despawns after that. And then goes on to cooldown. He also has a health pool, so I'm assuming that if they do more damage before the cooldown, he'll die on those terms. How does this uh, pistol go? If you can land the shot, Scarlet, it might be alright. Jesus! Jesus! What is this dude made out of? I've got hardly any bullets. You can't handle a few, Asher. What's going on, Leto? It's not Escher HQ. How many of you are there? Am I waiting for this story or something? Is, is that what's going on? I mean it. Down. I've got grenades on Q. Okay, good to know. Should have done this alone. Well, oh, what's going on here? Always work alone. Uh oh, ladies, ladies. Let the brute have a little fun. Yeah, big fella. Uh oh, I don't like that at all. Oops. What was that? Some special item or something? She's got a plasma gun or something. That's interesting. Pressing C while he's still on cooldown pulls you out of your scope like that. Hmm, so you can't like just spam it until the cooldown lifts. Bit, bit of a shame. I wouldn't mind doing that to be honest. Get our fucking edgy, edgy fucking metal music. I just blew up my dog. Whoops. Oh, I blew her leg off, and she's still hopping. That's funny. Fuck you. Oh, I've got no grenades left. Oops. Interesting. The ADS is alright, but I'm not very precise. I think E might be melee. But I think the hip firing's working not that bad up close. Oh goodness. Righto. So it locks you into a big animation. Let's actually try the this one without the scope. 
See how I go. Oh, that gives me heal? Cool. Okay. Good work, puppy. It's a sort of glory kill-ish. The animation lockout's very long. Like, I think the way that the, the new Doom, you know, Doom and Doom Eternal get away with it is because it's kind of punchy and fast. Who's this bloke? Hello? Who's this bloke? Bloody blokes everywhere. Alright. But it's good fun. I dare I say mindless. You know, there's a story in there, but I don't... Whatever. But the shooting is tight. The shooting is actually really cool. The dog's pretty inspired. I like the different weapons so far. List pistols basic. The non-transferred loot will be sold. Oh look, I do have that. Oh, it's a it's a stub gun. It's an auto gun. How did I not realize that? I'm an idiot. All right, pistols basic. So, how do I transfer? Take. Or do I put it in the in the hole? Oh, look at this. Ah, okay, so Okay, so this must be gear that I just randomly picked up. Sort by highest price. What's going on here? Status item. Mate, I don't know what's going on. Space bar sought by lowest price. There you go. What's this? Give me one of that. Okay, this is weird, this inventory, but that's fine. Tech, RKO tech. Big part of the looting in these sort of games. They're after my lucky charms. Can I like control click or something? Man, this UI is crap. <laughs> it's, it's not great. All right, and the rest will be sold apparently. Sell my items, right? Sold for 900 bucks. Okay, escape quit. Non-transferred loot will sell. Proceed. Okay, we got there in the end. That, that looting UI could be better. No doubt about it. Medical and maintenance fees, S. Yes. Imperial taxes? Kill style. They're right. Okay, cool. Oh, look, my character. I didn't think I was ever going to see my own head, even if it is just in a bloody. What is this, like a load screen? Me and the dog just going for a walk? Okay, cool. It's a cool puppy. It's a good puppy. It's a functional one as well. Not one of these fucking handbag dogs that are designed to be what? An accessory to vanity. This thing's designed to fight and kill and destroy people. It's good. Jeez, how long are we going to take to load? Um, imagine having a bloody chihuahua in this, you know? Or a fucking sausage dog in a wheelchair. Um, all right, where are we? Dogs have a function. Martyrs in. Look at this edgelord with his bloody... Who's there? A, a bit he's a role plays as an elf. Damn. He's got a goatee, Jericho. long where hair, and he dresses like a fucking buccaneer. Martyrs end. Martyrs end. There's a lot wrong with this man. Martyr's end. He's a Reddit moderator. Beyond Thorian's dome, beyond the bad zones of Delta Seven, far from where you want to be, I'll wager. 
but a better place in your He's very small. Or this man's very large. I'm confused. Better than I would be if I hadn't met you. Hello, large man. I saved your life. Right. Feels like you did a great job. I suppose it all depends on what you imagine being dead feels like. You seem keener than you should be on finding out. Right. Enough of the riddles, Spire Boy. Spire what Boy. Happened? Got him. <laughs> There's time for all that later. You're gonna hurt yourself straining like that. Right. Remember, you only just made it this far. Okay. I'm gonna leave you with my friend here. There's a watering hole right outside, the Blessed Temple, they call it. You can find me there when you're ready. Ready for what? That's the fun part. Finding out. Okay. Oh, look, he's got a buster sword. Alright. Talk to the rogue doc and learn more about aug augmetics. No, I don't think I will. How do I save? I'm assuming the game's already saved. Let's assume so. Alright, this is sick. I'm actually really enjoying it. Oh, what's going on here? I could have got that for half the price. Hello? The container. It's very, that's very Fury Road. Man, the ash the ashes are great. They confuse me. Too bad. I found a nice little hide. Listen to them, they're I rough as guts. Got the worst heads. Right <laughs> but uh interesting uniforms. Alright, mate, I'll get to you in a minute. Anyway, so this is cool. Check it out yourself. Uh special worlds on sale. Um if it's not for you, it's not for you, that's fine. But the like I said, the shooting is actually quite tight and really fun. So at the core it's fun, and that's all that really matters. Um, I think the artistic design, the world design is actually really inspired and has it has a great direction. However, you know, the, the graphics are on a rough, um, but I will take that. I'll take it then the reverse. I'd, I'd rather that than like a, a really high fidelity, but kind of blandly directed looking game, right? Whereas this is actually really rich and dare I say quite true to the to the world that it's inspired by. It's done well with the license. Anyway, so I like this game, but um, you know, if you're expecting some AAA fucking super slick looking uh, thing, then then I think you're kidding yourself going in. But you should probably know that already because this isn't AAA. Um, yeah, let me know if you want to see some more because I'd love to play it on the channel. Otherwise, I might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one.